it solely depends on you. Your personality is more important, 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 important. What's up YouTube? What's up YouTube? This is your boy King 10 years. As you can see, I'm wearing black. I'm trying not to blend in with the background, green, red, and all the colors. But today I'm gonna talk about eight things you need to know before you can pick up a DSLR and start calling yourself a music video director. First thing you need to know about shooting music videos is how to operate your camera. Learn how to use your DSLR manual. You need to learn manual everything, white balance. White balance is the most annoying thing that you realize when you're about to edit your music video. The next thing you need to know is aperture. Aperture also works hand in hand with shutter speed and also ISO. ISO only deals with gain and shutter speed deals with speed and also light. Aperture deals with focus and also light. You need to know how to operate those things hand in hand in order to produce quality music videos. The second thing you need to know is the difference between film rates, between 25 frames per second and 60 frames per second. If you are shooting at 60 frames per second, that means you've, your shutter speed should be 1 over 120. If you are shooting at 24 frames per second, that means your shutter speed has to be 50. I'm shooting this video at 24 frames per second. That's why my shutter speed is sitting at 1 over 50. If you shoot at 60 frames per second, make sure that your shutter speed is at 120 frames per second. If you shoot at 24 frames per second, make sure your shutter speed is at 50 frames per second. But it's possible to shoot at 60 frames per second and save at 24 frames per second because there are enough frames to play around with. That's why we usually shoot slow motion at 50 frames per second so we can slow it down to 24 or 25 frames per second. The third thing you need to know, the third thing you need to know is camera movement. That thing is so important. Those things are so important, man. Most gospel music videos, the camera is like, you know, set on a tripod and then there are people in front and then the, the director say, okay, perform now. That's like lazy directing. I believe your camera should tell the story more than your B-roll and other things. So if you're shooting hip-hop track and then your, your, your camera is just standing there, People are gonna get bored easy. You have to create a movement. If the song is playing slow, your movement has to be slow. If it's playing fast, your movement has, has to play fast. Fourth thing you need to know is lighting, man. As you can see, my lighting is proper, hella proper. As you can see, the green here, which is an LED light here, which is lighting up the roof, and then there's LED lights here, white one, which is lighting my face to make me look crispy. And then there's a red uh, fluorescent light here, heating up my face right here just to give me that color. I'm trying to play around with colors. The background is so annoying. I, I wish I had added more lights and maybe on this door add another different light and on also this door add another different light. Understand your light. Understand what happens if you put your light here and put it here. Tell your story also using lighting. You can use your window uh, to use natural light. You can buy an uh, LED light. Some of them are expensive. You can rent them or you can just build yourself lights like I did. All of these lights that you see here are home built. So the fifth thing you need to know before you pick up a DSLR and start shooting a music video, before you press the red button record, you should know how to shoot B-roll. That's shooting at a higher frames per second, man. If you get a camera that shoots 120 frames per second, but people like me are stuck on 60 until you upgrade to a more professional camera. So when it comes to music videos, when you shoot B-roll, there is no such thing as enough B-roll. Shoot everything, everything that is relevant to the music video, put it there. Shoot at, uh, shoot at 60 frames per second, learn how to shoot B-roll, learn how to edit B-roll. And the sixth thing you need to know, man, is storyline. Storyline. When it comes to telling a story on music videos, that's where you put your money where your mouth is. 
if you can tell a story and when you listen to the song you can actually imagine the story and then you shoot a video everything on the video is just performance they will forget the story of the song what it means to them they can't relate to the song because the video is not showing them anything to relate to learn how to tell your story learn be rule learn your shutter speed understand your frames per second and the seventh thing you need to know before you can even buy DSLR is YouTube man YouTube is the most important thing ever I believe I always tell people like they always ask me where did you learn how to do this I say YouTube I usually advise people that you can learn a lot in YouTube in a year then you can learn in university for four years because on YouTube we have like a thousand people just answering one question how to shoot a music video you're gonna get different answers different teachers YouTube is like my favorite school i'm always there watching peter mechanic i started watching youtube i started becoming interested on youtube when i started watching film riot those people gave me the excitement to go and buy a proper camera those people gave me that the same advice i'm giving you now you learn a lot from youtube you learn how to do more with less you know how to create your own things you can search anything which is the best camera i can buy what is shutter speed what is iso what is frames per second what is frame rate you can learn from other people's music videos and learn from their mistake you need to know how to recreate something that you have seen online on tv or somewhere else that comes to the part where i'm saying learn how to use your camera if you know how to use your camera you will know how to imitate someone else's style learn how to be a peter mechanic learn how to be a ryan conley and learn how to take good pictures just watch music videos and i believe the best way to know how an editing was done that's the eighth part eight advice i'm gonna give you now learn how to edit with your eyes before you can even start recording know what you want before you can even press record edit while you're shooting so it will be easier for you when you're editing on the studio so the best way you can learn how to edit my way whenever i'm watching tv i'm watching a kendrick lima music video a dj Khaled music video a justin Bieber music video you know what i do press mute and just sit there and watch you will see how the video was edited you will see how the bureau was taken you will see the camera movement you will see all the basic important things that makes you appreciate a good quality music video so thank you stay safe and always never stop recording we turn it up